Alright, welcome back to our arms everyone. So today we have the Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 40 and I'm just going to do a little review on it. I'm going to go over all the specifications on this thing, share my own thoughts on it, and then I'm going to take it out to the range at the end of the video and shoot it so you guys can see how it performs while it's in action. Okay, so right off the bat I just want to say that this is a great gun. I've been carrying this for a little over a year now and I can definitely say that I feel comfortable defending myself with this thing. Um, with that being said, I have owned this gun for about four years. I just haven't started carrying until uh, the last year or so. But overall, I really like it. So when you first buy this thing, there's not much to it. You get the gun and then you also get two magazines that come with it. Um, before I get any further, I just want to mention that this gun does not come with the Streamlight TLR6 laser light combo here. I wish it did, but unfortunately it does not. If you want that, you're going to have to buy it separately. Um, now with the magazines here, with this six round magazine, it doesn't leave a whole lot of uh, room for grip. Now, I can kind of get a full grip on it, but as you can see, half of my pinky kind of hangs off there. So it's it's not the most comfortable grip. It's not terrible, but I would much rather have the extended magazine for that. And I'll show you here what that looks like. So yeah, as you can see with the seven round mag, when I go to get a full grip, I can get plenty of grip on the handle there. And there's even some that overhangs off of there. Now I don't have the smallest of hands, and I don't have huge hands neither. I got some medium sized hands. So it should work out fairly well for you either way, unless you've got some real big hands. <clears throat> but either way, it's nice that it does come with that extra magazine. So, real quick, I just want to go over some specifications on this thing. Um, so it weighs about 20 ounces, and its overall length is 6 and 1 inches. Now the barrel inside is a 3 and 1 inch barrel. So as you can see, this gun is a pretty, it's, it's a pretty small gun. Um, it's not big by any means. If you are looking for a bigger carry gun, this is definitely not the one. But with it being this small and lightweight, it makes for a very nice and comfortable carry. Now obviously this is the 40 Smith & Wesson caliber version of the shield. They have a 9mm version as well and I do believe they also have a 380 version but may want to double check on that. Now on the slide here they have these rear serrations on the slide and you can see they're cut in kind of a wave pattern and that just allows it to have a nice grip to pull from back there so I like that feature quite a bit um, now as for the sights this gun actually comes with a very nice pair of iron sights and these are the three dot white sights um, I've shot with these numerous amounts of times and I haven't had any urge to swap them out for any other sights yet. Now on top of the chamber here you can see there is a small hole there and what that is is that's the loaded chamber indicator so when there is a bullet in the chamber you can actually look down that hole right there and you'll see the brass shining through so that's just a nice little uh, safety feature that they added there. Moving on down to the frame of the gun. This is a full polymer frame. And at the front here, you have the front light slash laser rail. So you can hook up a light or laser like I did there. Now there is very specific kinds that you can only use on this gun. Um, I know one that works on there is the Streamlight TLR6. As for the others, I do not know. You'll have to research that. 
Um, moving on back here, this is the takedown lever. So you move this back all the way to the rear, swap it down, and the slide comes off. And then you can just put it back on. You don't have to touch that. It goes back on by itself. Um, right here is the slide release or slide catch if you will. And one thing I've noticed about this slide release is I really like the position of it. My thumb does not actually uh, hold it down while I'm shooting it. But one thing I noticed about this thing is it's super stiff. Now, if, I don't know if that's because it needs break, broken in or not. Like I said, I've had this for about four years and it's still been pretty stiff. But it is just for some reason or another a very st uh, stiff slide lock. Um, moving on back to the rear here, this is your thumb safety. Now this gun has two uh, safety features on it. It has this, the uh, thumb safety here, and it also has kind of a safe trigger. Uh, if you look at it, it's split into two parts. If you try to pull it at the top, it can't fire. You have to get the full trigger for it to engage. Now. One thing I want to mention is you can buy this gun without thumb safety if you like, or you can buy it with it. I personally don't really like thumb safeties all that much, but you have that option to get it with or without. I just don't really use it. So um, anyway, moving on down here, this is the mag release. Now it's a textured polymer mag release, and I actually like it quite a bit. I've never accidentally punched it out on accident. It's in a very good position. I like the shape. I like the texture of it. Um, and the mags pop out quite well. Slides out real easy. So yeah, pretty good mag release overall. Now, next I want to talk about the trigger. This, uh, this gun has a really nice trigger for a small gun. Um, on one hand, it is a bit of a heavier pull. It's about a six and a half pound pull. But even with it being a heavier pull, it actually pulls really smooth. Um, I'll just show you real quick here. When you pull, it doesn't have all that much travel, which I love that. And it breaks really clean. Now as for the uh, trigger reset, it's a dang good reset. So overall, I give the trigger five stars. I like it quite a bit. All right, so I've pretty much gone over everything I wanted to talk about with you guys. Um, the only thing I don't like about this gun is that it has a really stiff slide lock there. And since it is a single stack, it kind of sucks that it doesn't allow for all that much capacity, but the thing I really do like about the single stack is that it thins up the gun quite a bit, and it makes it very comfortable to conceal. Um, let's go on ahead and head out to the range, and I'll show you guys how this thing performs. All right, so I have my target here. As you can see, I drew about an eight by eight inch square on there just to give you guys kind of a point of reference while I'm shooting it and it'll also kind of tell how accurate it is. So I'm going to shoot both rounds, which is 13 rounds, at the target and let's see how it goes. So there is the first group of the first round of shooting. That was at the seven round magazine. So the first three are here and that last four shots are here. One is on the black line, so you probably can't see that. But I'm gonna take that six round magazine and go ahead and shoot at this again. All right.
right, so there is the second grouping of the round of six. And they're all in the square except for that last one down there on the bottom. So that was at the same distance, but with the six round magazine. All right, so I set up two bottles over there and I'm just gonna use that kind of as an accuracy test. And also because I just like shooting bottles. So let's see if I can shoot these things. So I just kind of had to throw in some fun there. Um, but anyways, as you can see, I shot that first one. The second one kind of fell down, so it made it more of a challenge, but I got it eventually. All right, guys, so overall, I think this is a very good carry gun. Um, I don't just say that because of how it performs and its quality, but because you can also get this for a pretty decent price. Right now, you can get it from anywhere from about 320 to 375 so it would be known more as one of the budget guns I don't know that's still a lot of money but compared to a lot of guns that's a pretty good price for a very quality gun um, anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for joining hunt arms once again please remember to like and subscribe leave the comments down below and stay tuned for more action at hunt arms thanks guys